So basically, a choriasm is where you come. And that is what a choriasm is. Well, not really. see what a choreasm is on my OnlyFans. So basically, a choreasm is where you come completely hands-free from hanging leg raises. At least, that's how I do it. So you get so tense and tight and you just fucking come hands-free from an exercise. It sounds weird, but it's fucking amazing and it's like pretty much no other um you get yeah there's there's nothing else like a choreasm so um today i'm going to be explaining a little bit more on my experience with that and how it works voice over time i hope you guys are doing phenomenal as today is a very warm, very warm July. No, not July. It's fucking August. Damn it. <laughs> I forget my months all the time. I'm so for forgetful. Anyways, corgasms. Um, I have been able to corgasm to come hands-free since... Um, way before I've been able to, you know, masturbate. Um, it's super weird to some people, but I am weird and I prefer being weird. And I want to kind of explain and show you guys what I'm feeling um, during that because it's very, very interesting. There's not enough there's not a lot of information out there with corgasms. Um, in the past, I've done some videos on this, and I just want to do more because it seems you guys enjoy these type of videos. I fucking, aside from loving corgasms, like, I'm a very sexual person. I've been able to um, have a very high sex drive since I was very young and maybe that's hormonal maybe that's genetics um I think a little bit of it, a little bit of, bit of it is um mostly females can have a exercise induced orgasm and it's interesting because I don't know if there's any scientific evidence on like this being a genetic predis predisposition, I know that the some people, they just have weird um, or special genetics to where they can have an exercise-induced orgasm. And that is um, equally just as hot. I think that um, there might be more people than everyone realizes that have the ability to corgasm. So I'll basically just kind of tell you like exactly like my whole genetic predisposition and how like exactly that works for me. I've always been, not always, but I've been pretty lean for the most part. I think that uh, having a low body fat percentage does play a role in this because if you're not able to feel the tension in your lower abs, it's like connecting to the reproductive orgasm, reproductive or organs, orgasms, lol. Uh, oh my god, I'm terrible on words today. But it's uh it's always been i've always 
been super fucking horny like after my workout and I don't know if you guys experience that um but that might have something to do with it I think that uh at least in my experience I can only corgasm from having a predominantly lower ab exercise and having a static position in that position such as a hanging leg raise which puts way more tension on the lower abs um I have been able to corgasm from a crunch position, but not very often. It's kind of, um, it's not as consistent, I would say. So in my experience, pretty much a hanging leg raise or um, some type of lower ab, lower core uh, exercise is the only way I can corgasm. And uh, recently I did a guided corgasm on my main OnlyFans. You can find that on my website paxbury.com at the first link. Um, that is where I am most active and that's where I produce the most amount of videos and I have all of my corgasms there. However, I do have many vids and other things too. Anyways, um, yeah, corgasms are literally like having a prostate orgasm, which I've had that as well. Um, or I think it's kind of similar to how females can squirt. Uh, if you haven't experienced a prostate orgasm or a hands-free orgasm in general, um, I would try to experience that first. And then, um, if hanging leg raises don't make you horny, like while you're in a static position, such as this exercise, and you hold it there, um, kind of like a, a flying plank. Um, now, granted, that takes a lot of strength, and I've been doing a lot more calisthenics type of movements to kind of uh, get my strength up with that, but I've always been able to do it that way. Um, if you're not horny with that exercise, I'm sorry, but you probably can't do a choreasm. Um, but I would just say try it. Um, uh, if I would say um, there might be some dietary uh, things that play a role in this type of uh, situation where you might have to be a pretty low body fat to be able to corgasm. I really don't know, but that's what I would assume. I would love to do more research, but the thing is there isn't any research on this. Um, so if you guys have any research on this corgasm phenomenon, uh, let me know in the comments, and I would fucking love to research that because it's super interesting, and you guys find it interesting, so... I want to do more videos of what you guys want me to produce. So, uh, I hope you're doing phenomenal. I hope you're doing amazing. And I hope you enjoyed this workout little voiceover and corgasm explanation. I know I'm not the best at explaining things, but uh, I hope you found some type of value out of this video and as always if you want to check out and see a choreasm in real time head over to my OnlyFans first link has all of them on paxbury.com and I hope you have a fucking wonderful rest of your day